Hi guys, this is Scott from Axial. Today we're going to talk about the Axial AE5 ESC. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about with the AE5 ESC are the tones you get when you plug in the ESC. They're telling you something. One short tone indicates it's a nickel metal hydride battery. Two short tones will indicate a two cell and three short tones will indicate a three cell battery. After those short tones, you'll get one long tone, which indicates the ESC is initialized and ready to go. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and we'll listen for these tones. We heard two quick tones and one long tone. So the two quick tones indicate I have a two cell lithium battery in here. The one long tone indicates the ESC is calibrated, initialized, and ready to go. This is a self-calibrating ESC, so you don't have to pull full throttle or full brake. It'll self-calibrate. All right, now we're gonna talk about the settings on the AE5 ESC using the jumpers on the ESC. The AE5 ESC comes from the factory with the LiPo cutoff on and it's set at 100% drag brake. If you are running a nickel metal hydride battery, you wanna take out this front jumper and move it over one slot. This will indicate that it's now in nickel metal hydride mode. All right, now we're gonna look at the drag brake setting. It's set at 100% from the factory, which is gonna hold you on a fairly steep incline. If you want a little bit less drag brake and you want your truck to roll out a little bit more when you let off the gas, what you're gonna do is go ahead and take this rear jumper, move it over one, and now you have 50% drag brake. All right, the AE5 ESC does not have a switch, so you wanna make sure that you unplug the ESC when you're done playing for the day. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for joining us. Look out for some more tech tips at axialracing.com.